Before her matchup in the Superwoman's Division Tournament, Andrew 18 was reading an article about global warming. Happy to see that someone was reading about global warming and caring about the environment, Poison Ivy decided to read some of it aloud herself. She then read aloud, Poison Ivy saves the world by getting rid of one of the most common causes of pollution in the United States and Japan. Androids. Hashtag Planets Champion. Meanwhile, the Black Cat actually got some footage of Chun Li's opponent tonight, Yellow. She was able to discover Yellow's finishers and signatures and was trying to warn Chun Li ahead of time. Pink Ranger and Black Widow didn't necessarily agree with the strategy here, didn't necessarily appreciate it, but Chun Li said, Never do it again, but I'll take it for now. But Chun Li wasn't the only one scouting her opponent or trying to learn new things about her. Yellow, with her Savior Society teammates, Rainbow Mika and Starfire, would actually first get a grocery list, and then after that, she would actually get the list of moves to look out for when it comes to Chun Li, as Rainbow Mika had been watching a lot of old Chun Li matches in all Japan. Looking out for backdrop drivers, Kawada kicks, you know, kicks in general, because it's Chun Li. But regardless of all of that, humor aside, let's get into our first match. Now, personally, with Poison Ivy and Andrew 18 facing each other here, I mean, if I'm being honest, and I am kind of biased, Andrew 18 is probably the favorite to win this match, if I have to say. But earlier, we saw with Storm and Pink Ranger that when you have a favorite, that may not all necessarily always be the case. You know what I mean? Like, you go into a matchup, you expect someone to win, and then it just doesn't happen. Like, it just makes sense on paper, but it's not always the way that it works out. But when you have Andrew Teen, who is faster, stronger, probably smarter than Poison Ivy, probably, you never really know what to think. Because you want to you wanna say that Andrew Teen has a distinct advantage here, but right now, for FWF and fans alike, she's an unknown. Match underway. Probably a bad idea to frustrate Android 18 as she comes flying out of the gate going after Poison Ivy, but Poison Ivy seems to have a counter for everything that she's doing, so perhaps this was a brilliant strategy. Perhaps trying to frustrate her opponent before the match. And the thing about that is, as we've seen in other companies, and I think in FWF as well, when you get angry enough, you might get yourself counted out, disqualified, etc. It's not something that you want to happen. In a championship tournament like this one, but I think Andrew Teen has finally caught up to Poison Ivy, and now Ivy is in trouble. Going for this is oh no, with the cowboy boots, or I guess the cowgirl boots, stumping on the exposed hand. She has no protection on the hands or the arms. It's just clothing. Oh no, why? There you go, figuratively and literally using her head to counter. Gets another lariat. Focusing on the head here, it seems. And I think it's not a bad strategy. I guess it can give us some insight onto what her finisher might be, as it presumably probably targets the head, which makes a lot of sense. Got her on the apron now. No form shot gets caught there. I don't think taking the aggression to Andrea Teen is a great idea. I don't think you want to get in a fight with her. Wait a minute. Oh, no. No. Why would you do that? threw her to the floor and now she's pummeling her in the corner but again Poison Ivy able to counter went for a back suplex that gets countered into the corner oh that was right on the jaw this has been incredibly one-sided now granted Poison Ivy's got a few counters in here and there but she hasn't really got a string of offense in since the beginning of the matchup now it's a running face wash and I think now Andrew Teen is going to go for a cover I assume no she isn't it's gonna hit her with the dominator you know yosaka ddt hooking the outside leg one it's just a one though surprisingly in the corner again this time poison ivy has an answer ivy with the form shot what is oh hooking up the belt and the skirt and a power driver the cactus driver if you will oh but she's too close to the ropes he's got to reposition her that's gonna be a downfall here one Two. That was actually close. She might have gotten the winner. She had going for a pin. Maybe just gotten in between Andrea Teen and the ropes. That might have helped her out. I don't know. Andrea Teen appears to be stunned, crawling to her feet. Oh, never mind. Counter. Scorched Earth. Just 
like that. That is disheartening. And it's enough to win the matchup. Probably the shortest match in the tournament so far. Damn. I feel bad for who's going to have to face the injured 18 because uh, that was incredibly one-sided. <laughs> I mean, she did get a nice pile driver in Poison Ivy, but nowhere near enough. She's got to bounce back from that one. But we have to move on to the final match of the first round of this tournament. Yellow and Chung Lee, both leaders of their groups. Yellow being the leader of the Savior Society. We saw Videl go at it with Sakura before. Can't spoil who won that one, but maybe you're interested. So go ahead and check that out in the last episode. Chung Lee being the leader or one of the leaders in the University of Skill. We already saw Black Widow in action earlier, as well as Pink Ranger, both members of her group. Can Chung Lee hold up her ground in this matchup? That is the question here. And presumably, she may do so, but as I mentioned before, sometimes people who you expect to win don't always win. So Yellow knows what to expect in terms of the kicks and the martial arts background of Chung Lee, while you have Chung Lee who knows what to expect from the finishers of Yellow. Will she be able to stop them? I don't necessarily know, but at least she knows what to expect when they come along. As for the viewers, you guys don't really know what to expect, aside from Chun Li's gonna kick someone in the face in this matchup. Oh, nice combination. Back to her feet, roundhouse kick. Got her boxed up in the corner here. This is a bad place to be. She is getting punished with strikes. No fighting back. Yellow says, oh no. I ain't staying down. Oh, punch to the gut. Punch to the gut. And a punch to the gut. I think she was going for a DDT. She paid for it. Knife inch chop again. Kick to the body now. Top rope. This looks bad. What is she even going to do from the top rope? Chumley going all the way up. Superplex. No. Avalanche Falcon Arrow. Into a pin. No. Into a triangle. This is bad. This is going to be it right here. We talked about fast matches earlier. This will definitely be the fastest one if she gets a submission. But Yellow staying alive. And Benadriller. Now go for the pin. That should do it. Roundhouse kick right on the money. Right out of the fireman's carry. Two. It's not enough just yet. Chung Lee now. Can't afford to get frustrated here. Perhaps she may have underestimated Yellow, which is a terrible idea. I mean, she's the leader, or one of the leaders of the Saber Society. I think she was going for a back elbow. I don't really know, but she got caught with double knees, that's for sure. Now in the corner. Throwing her to the outside. We actually saw this earlier in the tournament, and we're going to see it again, I think. Diving through the ropes, and baseball slide drop kick. Chung Lee goes down. She is clearly rattled. Now all Yellow has to do is get her back in the ring. And that's kind of a flaw for the Saber Society. They don't want to win by countouts, disqualifications, and all that. But sometimes, I just feel like they're making kind of a mistake. Like, right there, probably should have just let her stay on the outside. But then again, you don't want Chun-Li to recover and come back in stronger than ever. And I guess it's working out, because right now, Yellow is on top. Look at this. Down goes Chun-Li. What is Yellow's signature move? Let's find out. Kick to the gut. Hits an Impaler DDT, float over into a pin. I don't think that was her signature, but it might be enough. It is not enough. I thought it was going to be enough for a second. DDT. If I were her, I would continue to focus on the body right now because she's already done a significant amount of damage to it in this matchup. To the outside now. Kick to the gut. Counter. Oh no, spinning bird kick. Went for the moon stomp. That gets avoided. Hip toss. Cartwheel, knee strike to the bridge of the nose, and she might be out cold. There you go. Smart. Into a pin. Two. And again, it's not enough. She's going to have to hit a finisher to win this one, I assume. Everyone so far in the tournament has needed a finisher to win the matchup, and I think that's what she's going to need to do here. Place in the corner. Top rope. Perhaps this match could be different. Hey, who knows? Maybe you won't need a finisher. Maybe you can get a random roll up on him. Surprise your opponent. Shot to the face. I believe she calls this the Thunderbolt. Got it. Quickly now. Pin combo. Double hook of the legs. Nice. It's still not enough. You gotta be kidding. 
that's got to be annoying as hell when you hit your finish and someone kicks out and a lot of people have had that problem yellow goes for a pin again and it's still not enough and the worry in her face is apparent kick to the body kick to the body again and again and again chung lee now turning up the aggression she's visibly low on stamina and with the damage done to the body i think that may have had something to do with it now running face wash a kick to the side of the head she's lucky she wasn't cut open from that because a, a wound above the eyes is a terrible place for a wound i'll tell you that stalking her paying homage here setting it up oh she was going for the bus side kick but it was countered kick to the gut was she going for a power bomb i guess she was but it got countered into a sunset flip roll up now one two no, she counters. One, two, three. No, she kicked out. Running bulldog set up in position perfectly with the top. Okay, she is going to go to the top. Really. That's exactly what it looked like it was set up for. What is this? Mega ball. Oh, well, that sucks. Double knees to the back and the SBK. One, two, three, and that will do it. Damn. Damn. Well, we know who's all going to be in the quarterfinals of this tournament, which will continue in the Christmas Classic. But until then, leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys for that tomorrow. We'll have two matches. I hope y'all.